Hello everybody. Today we are going to run through how to ride a motorcycle. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, all that crap, you know how YouTube works. Um, we got a lot of cool content on here, abandoned buildings and different rides. But what we're going to focus on today is getting you guys comfortable to start riding one of these things. There's nothing like it in the world. I've jumped out of an airplane. I've, I, I've been through a lot. This is a whole different world. When you're on a bike and you're you're just flying down the highway or down some country road there's absolutely nothing like it um it seems difficult there's a lot to learn but at the same time it's a lot more simplistic than you would imagine um there are some key things that you do have to know and we're gonna try to run through absolutely everything you would need to know to at least get started okay now first thing we're going to talk about and we'll just go through this pretty quickly because my way of learning a very 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 long time ago was to actually see somebody do it and getting on the road and actually getting it done so we're going to run through some of the uh, basic steps and uh, if you guys forget anything just rewind watch it over again uh, you, know, you know what you're doing anywho there there are two types of bikes there are carbureted bikes and fuel injected bikes I actually found out that they still make carbureted bikes which is I thought was done in the mid 90s but anywho if you have a carburetor on your motorcycle you're gonna have something called a choke it's normally about here sometimes by your butt sometimes up by the handlebars and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that choke all the way out start your bike it's gonna be loud and it's gonna shake and it's gonna rock a little bit when she calms down you put it to half choke which you'll feel it'll go halfway in and then when it's completely ready you push the choke all the way through and it'll be very calm and it'll keep running if it shuts off that means it, it needs just a little bit more choke but uh that's that's a very easy step and you could find something else on youtube to teach you how to use a choke the right way but it again it's very very simple second there are different types of shifters on your right side this is going to be your brake this is going to be your front brake this is your rear brake i'm sorry over on your left side is your shifter now this is called forward controls so when i'm sitting on here and we'll go for a cruise afterward we'll go through all the steps we'll we'll make it really easy for you guys but when you're sitting on the bike and your feet are forward these are called forward controls there are some bikes with mid controls so that shifter would be about here i prefer the front i do not like mid shifters those are usually those are on um crotch rockets you know little little tiny plastic fast bikes i've noticed the shifting mechanism is either normally between five and six speeds like in a car the normal way to shift your motorcycle and we'll learn about clutch control and everything like that which again this is your brake this is your front brake this is your clutch lever back here you're going to pull this back all the way every time you make a shift there is a different way on some bikes which is extremely annoying but you'll figure that out when you're going to look for a bike but the main sequence in shifting is you're going to hold that clutch when the bike's in neutral you're going to push all the way down and you're in first gear if you're sitting still and you let go of that clutch the bike will die well not die it'll just shut off making a video people anywho <laughs> uh, after that first shift when you're going down to get back into neutral is actually a half shift upward and you'll feel you'll feel a little notch and we'll again we'll do that while we're riding that'll get you back in the neutral but if you're in if you're starting you push all the way down to get in the first gear you get to riding you hit speeds to where you need to shift in the second you're going to pull your clutch again and you're going to pull all the way up with your foot it'll go past that little notch and it'll click upward then you're in second gear and it's sequential after that it's up 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 so this is a five speed that's what that five means um 
which most bikes are but first gear is down all the way neutral is half up but first gear is down second is all the way up third is all the way up and so on and so forth until you're in fifth and when you're in fifth gear you could pull that throttle back and go as fast as well i didn't say that you could do the speed limit <laughs> when you're in fifth gear um and we'll go over the speeds i'm sorry i'm getting attacked by bugs uh we're, we'll go over speeds and when to shift and everything every bike's a little bit different but you'll feel it you'll kind of get used to it and you'll feel the need for the bike to if, it, if the bike is screaming if it's really man um if the bike is screaming when you're on the when you're on the throttle it needs to be shifted up so if i'm in second gear let's just say i'm in second gear and i got the throttle back and i'm flying and i'm doing 35 miles an hour normally you should be in third gear by then but you'll feel it the, the bike the motor will make this it'll be loud you'll you'll feel it you'll know it you'll hear it um, a lot of bikes tell you what gear you're in um, i had to modify mine to uh, let me know it's just it's better to look at instead of guessing half the time um, but again we'll get over it. We'll, we'll go through that and at the end of this we'll, we'll go on a cruise we're going to go through here i had to find a parking lot uh, long enough to show you guys when to shift and all this other stuff but shifting is normally people's first fear when riding a bike and i get it i do get it but it's nothing after you do it a couple times you're going to feel like a pro um and I'm trying to remember everything uh it's not like i wrote a note or anything okay so oh yeah all right now <laughs> um the braking system you want to use them in tandem your front and your rear brake you don't want to lock up your front you don't want to lock up your rear but on every motorcycle the front brake gives you 70 percent stopping power your rear gives you 30. so if you're flying and you, you need to just slow down you're just touching both at the very same time and you'll get used to it just like on your left side you'll get used to holding the clutch and popping your mm -hmm. uh your transmission up or down a gear so it's going to be the same thing on the right side when it comes to braking Whenever you're going for that top brake to stop, you're also going to be depressing the, this bottom brake for your rear. And again, seems all this is so much, but it's, it's very, very simple after you do it for a little bit of time. Um, there's another thing called counter steering, um, which you're going to be doing at, you know, wider turns or at faster speeds, which basically means, and we'll, we'll, we'll do it on some street, I'm sure, but which basically means you're going to be tilting your bike to the left, but you're going to be leaning your body to the right. That's counter steering. And it's, it's for wider turns or faster turns. Normally, if we're doing a U-turn, which we'll do that as well, you don't need that. You're just going to turn your bars and kind of lean into the turn. Um, and if you're more comfortable leaning into the turn, do it that way 95% of the time. Um, sometimes it feels a little scary, but these things are machines. They're going to do what you tell them to do. Um, so long as you get one that actually runs good, but you have to put some kind of faith in your equipment um, You can't be nervous. I mean, I, I mean, I guess nervous keeps you alert, but You can't second-guess yourself when you're already into a turn you complete that turn um, Sometimes it feels like you're you're almost gonna slide the bike If you're going at a higher rate of speed, that's not gonna happen. So you, you should be absolutely fine um Let's uh, just change this for a minute. Engine braking. <laughs> the last thing that I wrote down, engine braking. So I don't know if you're familiar with semi-trucks, but uh, semi-trucks engine brake all the time. A lot of cities have ordinances that uh, don't allow semi-trucks to engine brake because it makes a loud sound. Basically, engine braking is what it sounds like. It's using your motor to slow you down um, rather than your brakes so kind of like what we were talking about before the motor is going to be screaming if you're in second gear and you're doing 35 40 it needs to be clicked up exact same thing but opposite if that makes any sense so if i'm doing 40 miles an hour 
and I'm in fourth gear, which is what this bike likes. It's a 1200, so it's pretty fast. It's a big old motor. Um, if I'm doing 40 miles an hour and I'm in fourth gear and I see a stoplight very far in front of me and I don't want to waste my brakes, you know why? It's not going to hurt the bike. What you want to do, well, not want to, just engine braking anyway. Let's stick on that. If I'm doing 40 and I'm in fourth gear, I see a light pretty far in front of me. I could click into third gear, which again, I'd be holding the clutch down, putting my foot down all the way, that would drop me into third. Um, and that will force the bike to pull back. I mean, you'll feel a pull on the bike and you could do it again with second and first. Uh, another thing that I've been asked a few times is like, say you're in fifth gear and you, you see a red light coming up, you're doing 50 and you don't have very far to go you are allowed it's very capable and it's what you're going to be doing as soon as you get to riding um, if you're in fifth gear you can hold that clutch pop all the way down and uh, get to first gear uh, you don't have to let go of the clutch every single time you get into a gear um, same thing going up uh, if you're going too fast like i said before if you're doing say 40 miles an hour and you're in second gear and you should be in fourth gear you can hold that clutch, pop up, and pop up to get into fourth. I believe that's everything. Uh, that's everything on my notes, anyhow. But uh, let's get it started and show you guys exactly, exactly what. I'm trying to go through anything that you guys might ask me in the comments. All right. All right. So, this is... A little over 700 pounds but very very uh, great displacement everything they did with this bike was right these handlebars obviously weren't like this they were flat down here if you watch some of my other videos you'll see that I've changed these obviously um, but I'm sorry about that squeak but you're gonna have a setup similar to this if you have a uh, newer Harley it's gonna be something like this so you, your hazards off this is how you shut your bike off when you're done parking or whatever um you obviously want to be a neutral when you do that we'll run through that um but we'll keep it on run so it's uh it's ready this is how it would be started this is your hazard lights blinker right blinker left blinker high beams and if you want to tell someone like get out of my way or whatever your trip that'll tweak your odometer or whatever and your horn um, but the bike's not on so let us, I don't want to get kids on the thing, so let's just do this, make sure she's all pretty. This is, by the way, a Harley Sportster 40A1200. Like I said, it's a bigger motor. Let's turn. So, what I like to do is I like to park in reverse. Uh, I like to back into a parking spot. I did, <laughs> I parked forward because the sun was facing this way. And to be honest, I just wanted you guys to see all the chrome. But, so, this is on run. So all I got to do is turn the key. This is fuel injected. It's a 2015, I believe. Um, so when I turn that key, you're going to hear the gas getting sucked up by the fuel injection system. Okay, we're going to wait for all these lights to go. Now we're good to run. I'm gonna hit the start button. We're good to go. I apologize if I'm a little too loud or a little too quiet, but I'm trying my best to, okay? So, again, what we're gonna work on right now is clutch control. So if I go and I kick something, if I kick this, it's not gonna do anything. I need to hold this clutch back. So the best thing is you hold this clutch, all the way back all the way down we're in first gear now we can go but we're not going to yet if i a light changes that uh, there's there's a cop or something like that and you gotta just sit here for a while hand on the clutch you let go of that clutch the bike will cut off and you're gonna get jerked forward a little bit and it's not gonna feel that great what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath halfway up and let go of the clutch now we're back in neutral I have this setting on to show you, well, I mean, 
that's more technical we, we don't have to worry about that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to shift up into second gear so clutch in first gear now say I'm cruising and I'm doing 15 miles an hour I want to be in second we're gonna go under and instead of half click we're gonna full click now I'm in second gear you didn't hear it now, but when we're moving, you will hear it. So let's go back down to first, back into neutral, off the clutch. One thing you're going to want to learn is your hand control. So you can't just let go of the clutch and start going. You want some momentum as you're going. So clutch in, you want to pull this hand back as you're releasing this clutch. And then you're done. And then same thing, you're going into a next gear. You're going to pull your clutch back, shift to whatever gear you want, and start pulling the throttle so you keep going as you're opening your left hand. And that'll make it so you don't jerk, you don't, uh, you don't stall the bike or anything like that. So let's see what it actually looks like. We're, over here, we're not going to really be doing any counter steering because it's very, you know, you're supposed to be going slow over here. But we'll do a little, we'll do some little training. And then we'll hit the actual road and you'll see what it's like. So, clutch in. First gear. If I let go of this clutch, the bike will stall and I'll jerk forward. That's not what we want. So, hand movements. You're going to pull back. If I keep the hand all the way down, we're not going anywhere. You have to release that clutch to be going forward. But again, you want to do it very slowly, and every bike is different, but it's all very similar. So we're going to get to going as, I'm sorry, we're going to get to going as I'm slowly letting off of this clutch. Now I'm fully off of the clutch. I'm in first gear at about 15 miles an hour. Comfy, feet are down. You know, keep both hands on if you want. If you, when you get more comfortable, you don't, you don't need to deal with the left side all that much. All right, so I'm going to show you now when the bike's screaming. I, it's not good for the bike, but I, I want you guys to see what not to do. So we're in first gear. We only want to get to about 20 miles an hour, but watch. screaming that that loud on a crotch rocket it's a lot more annoying it, it's uh it's like a buzzing sound but what we're gonna do let's let's go into second so we're at 20 clutch in pull all the way up a little bit of gas let off the clutch we're in second now we're gonna drop into first so use both brakes hold the clutch sorry bumps down to first we're in first now this was a stoplight we keep the clutch in always keep the clutch in you're good brother we're gonna do a u-turn up here and do the same thing back so I'm still in first gear so I need this clutch in again you let go of this and you're gonna be going if we were a neutral we don't need the clutch all right clutch in First gear, a little bit of gas. Let off the clutch when you got some speed, and there you go. Now for a turn, for a U-turn, I got my clutch all the way in, and I'm just turning the bike. Your foot should not have to touch the floor for you to make a turn. It's, it's gonna happen at some point, especially when you're first learning, but you know, it's the nature of the beast, and, and so what, you know? You want to make this perfect because unlike a car, we get into a fender bender, we're going to go to the hospital and we're going to, there's going to be, you know, eight grand worth of damage on the bike. So we're going to go straight. We're at 10 miles an hour. So I can let my hand off the clutch here and now listen to what happens if it doesn't have enough power. Okay, the bike wants to die. I'm giving it a little bit, little bit so it doesn't die. But if we're cruising and we forget the clutch, we are going to kill, well, the bike is gonna stall. So we're gonna go for forward again. Now, let's try it a little faster. Second gear, 
off the clutch, clutch it again, up to third gear, off the clutch, regular turn. Now I want to go down, so I'm going to clutch second gear, a little bit of gas, now we're in second again. I'm dropping to 15, so I want to go into first. It's clutch all the way down. We're in first here. A little bit of gas to let go of the clutch. I'm going to be turning, so I'm going to use both brakes. I'm sorry if this seems a little fast. I'm trying to make it not be. All right, we're in first gear. I'm using both brakes to stop the bike. Left leg always first because you still need this brake. We're in first gear. We don't want to stall the bike. Clutch is still in. Neutral, off the clutch. We're at a red light or, or what have you. Shut the bike off. All right. I hope that wasn't too fast paced. If it was, I apologize. I've never made one of these videos. You know, it's usually just cruising or doing some abandoned stuff. Again, check out the channel. You guys will love it. Um, but again, there's nothing like this. I mean, this is absolutely joy and uh, if you haven't ridden in a while and you, you just need a touch up, I mean, check the video. Well, you're already watching it, so thanks. But, uh, or if you're a beginner, um, rewatch this over and over and over again. You'll get it. And when you're when you're by yourself or in front of people, if you, if you don't, no shame, you know, uh, learn the hand movements. You want your clutch in, but as you're pulling back, you're letting off the clutch. It's this motion. Can you see both of my hands? It's this motion. Pulling back and opening this hand, which would be the clutch. You're opening this and pulling throttle on this at the same exact time. And again, in tandem, you want to use both brakes. You do not want to lock up the brakes. You don't want to slide on some gravel. It's just smarter to use both of them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this little, uh, we're going to do this again. And then we're gonna hit the main road and we're gonna we're gonna actually go through everything that we just learned, okay? So the key's on the on position, but I have this on off. So when I put this on run, you're gonna hear the fuel injection suck up the gas. That beeping was my phone. That's not what it sounds like when it's sucking up gas. Anyhow. Um and what I always what I want to suggest to anybody starting out get a bike that's good for you if you're five foot five you're gonna need a different bike than if you're six foot five if you are 110 pounds soaking wet you're gonna need a different bike than a 700 pound bike you know or if you're a 400 pound guy you don't want a little tiny bike for one people will laugh at you okay that's i mean other than the safety, that's above everything. People will laugh at you. When you see a really, really big guy on a little tiny bike, I mean, I'm sorry, but I'd laugh at you as well. Anywho, get a bike that's right for you. You don't want to start out a bike, something big, giant, with a big motor on it and loud pipes. I mean, you tip the thing, you're, you're going to hurt a lot more, and you're going you're gonna to be paying a lot more. So, this is a 1200cc depending on what state, city, everything has different ordinances. Uh, there are limits to how low a CC could go. But if you've got a 600 or a 650, um, which is actually one of my other bikes, I got a 650. Um, yeah, it's a 650. They're nice, they're nice bikes. You're not, you're not trying to race. We're, I, I got a fast car to go fast. I got a nice bike to cruise and enjoy life. I mean, again, there's nothing like it. I can't, I can't express that enough, and you'll get to it. I promise. No matter how hard it seems, no matter how many systems there are that you got to learn, you'll love it. You'll get used to it, and once you do, it, it's a different world. Um, when you get to going, it's just like riding a bicycle. The bike is going to keep you upward. As long as you have a forward momentum at a decent amount of speed, it's not going to want to fall. You, you, if you look on YouTube, you'll see a lot of people that hop off their bike or try to do a trick and they jump off and the bike keeps going. That's just normal. That's just physics. Um, so there's not much to worry about there. You're going to keep up straight. Um, again, the heavier the bike you get, 
I don't want to say more difficult, but the, the more difficult it's going to be to stop at a red light completely at a stop and put your feet down and keep the bike upright. But at the same time, again, it's just not hard. Um, the way we're built, our legs are here, the bike's like this, it's, it's, it's pretty sturdy. Um, and these things, if you see these little dots, uh, I, I got these ape hangers installed and they go, they were moving a little bit. So I had my mechanic drill into here. So it's, it's locked and I want to have something more pretty there, but I figured put out this video as soon as I can. Cause I want everybody to be safe and have fun, but all right, let's do this again. Keys on ignitions on the run is on. So we're going to start the bike. First step. Clutch in. First gear all the way down. Okay. And remember the hand motion. We're going to give it a little bit of gas and let off the clutch at the same ratio. Okay, so we're going to get going. Once we're about here, no need for clutch. Regular steering at this point. I want to show you guys something in case of an emergency now I was passing those cars pretty closely but I saw no one was in them if you get to some somewhere where you have to stop immediately and you don't want to stall your bike number one thing you want to do I'm sorry if this isn't loud enough I'm trying if if this Karen is on her phone or doesn't look both ways and she just pulls out back and you need to stop your best bet grab your clutch no matter what gear you are in if you're in fifth gear grab your clutch hit both brakes and stop it's a lot and then you could if you're in fifth gear you just click all the way down to first you flip her off and then you get going again all right but if you need to stop you need to stop don't think about the bike don't think about the transmission system because if you get to use this part this clutch is going to be your best friend if you get to learn this clutch you will never have a problem well i mean you, there is steering and everything else but uh you could get away from an emergency pretty dang quickly clutch is always your friend because you can let go of the gas and we're cruising as long as we're on the clutch it doesn't matter how slow we're going cute little doggy all right you turn no problem now let's get let's get up to let's get up to some speed second gear all the way up clutch in gas clutch off once we hit about 30 we're going to want to go into third gear let's make this turn make sure we're safe Clutch in, up, gas, let go. Nothing here. Fourth gear, clutch off, gas. Now we're going to come up to that stop sign. So what I like to do, both brakes, down to third gear. A little bit of gas. Now we're in third, but we got this stoplight, okay? We're going to clutch in, down, down, down. We're in first again. I say stop late, but you know this is a stop sign. So Alrighty. She wants to be in second. Clutch in, off the gas, pull up the second, pull down the gas, let off the clutch. Okay, then I was counter steering. 
because I was just showing you guys something. Go down to first, hand still on the clutch so I could I could shift as many times as I want. If I want to goof around and go in the third and then go in the fifth and then go in the first, I could do that. It's not gonna hurt anything. Alright, go back to our starting point. Neutral, off this, both, both brakes and then feet down. All right, when you're doing this, for whatever reason, if you're going very fast, if whatever the reason is, if you are turning a lot, if I was taking this at 50, that's exactly what I'd be doing, the counter steering. So you're gonna be pushing the bike this way, but you're gonna be keeping your mass on this side of the bike and vice versa. And you don't really need to turn all that much when you're counter steering. Um, there's, there's different forms of counter steering. That's the most simplistic, but, um, it's all basically the same. Uh, the other version of it is actually turning your wheel when we're again on a wide turn or you're going very fast. Uh, you're going to turn, you're going to lean the bike here, but you're going to put all your body mass on this side. So you're going to be turning right, even though your body's leaning left and that's not something I could really teach you. I, I wish you were with me. I'd grab one of my other bikes and we'd go for a cruise. But um, that's something you're going to learn on the road. Okay? Your, your number one thing when you're starting is your controls. And uh, I hope I did a good job of that. Let's go and take uh, somewhat of a cruise. If the battery dies, I apologize. I don't think it will. But uh, let's actually get out on the road and... Uh, feel what it feels like and then when you're done with this if you watch this video and you feel comfortable enough watch some of my other videos i have riding videos and i have abandoned videos i, I got a whole bunch of crap out but uh watch the riding videos and you'll see how i handle in traffic because i i don't have you in mind right now i do i want you guys to be safe and have fun um but in my other videos it, it's all about me having fun so I'm, I'm not thinking about the rules or anything because it's muscle memory. When you do it, you're, you got it. They're, you're never going to not remember. So uh, you might need a refresher course if, if you do a 15-year stint in prison or, you know, something not as violent. Uh, if, you, if, you're not, if you're without a bike for some time, uh, it, gets some, it takes some getting used to, but it's like riding a bicycle. It, it's, I mean, there's a lot more to go with it, but you'll know what to do. So... Make sure the fuel's all up in it, and let's actually get on the road and uh, do some stuff. And I'll try to use uh, everything I've taught you in the video, and uh, uh, you know, counter steering. I'll, I'll try to make some tight turns, some long turns, and uh, uh, you know, any questions you have that I haven't covered, comment. I, I write everybody back that writes me, so I, I personally do. So comment let me know if this video was helpful um if there's any other questions you have write me i've got absolutely no problem answering questions so let's get this day started all right there's not going to be a lot of talking because of the wind and because the bike is not a quiet bike but uh, just try to focus, okay? And I'll try, to, I'll try to keep with what I'm doing. But again, to start, always clutch in all the way. We're in first gear. If I rev this, we're not going anywhere unless I release some of this clutch. Don't be afraid, okay? Uh, fear will keep you okay, but fear will also inhibit uh, just... Don't be afraid. Get on the road, well, get into a parking lot, and, and just do it. Once you get to third gear, you're gonna feel like a different person. You're, you're gonna feel like you know what you're doing, and you kinda do at that point. Um, it's just slowing down and when to, so you guys will see everything. And if, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but right about here, uh, when I'm going, Once my hand's off of the clutch, it says what gear we're in. Uh, I don't know if you can pay attention to that or whatnot, but... Alright, so we're gonna go. Second gear. Clutch off with the... with the... Yeah. I think I just got hit by a butterfly. Is that good luck or bad luck? Well, bad luck for the butterfly. I know 
I got a while. Let's go into second. Clutch in, down to two, a little bit of gas. We're in second gear. Smooth transition. Nothing jerking the bike or anything like that. Stop sign, both brakes, clutch in, down to first. I'm coming up to a red light, so I got my hand on the clutch. You don't have to go into neutral, you just keep your hand on that clutch. Now we're at an uphill right now, so it's a little, we got to make sure that we're not rolling back. If I don't have my foot on that brake, we're going to go backwards, so keep your foot on that brake if you're at any kind of an incline. Alright, so we're going to hold this brake, take our foot off here and give it some gas. things hold on all right got, I'm depressing both brakes we're in first gear I'm gonna pop her into neutral take my hand off the clutch so we're just cruising now we're gonna use both brakes sorry going through puberty we're going to go through, not really, both brakes to come to a stop, left foot down, then right foot. Okay, if you are riding and you come up to a red light that suddenly turns green, if you're doing 20 miles an hour, you don't need to, you want to put the bike back into second gear. You do not need to start, the, start every cruise in first gear. So... Keep an eye on what your speed is and what gear you're in and stick with that, okay? Um, a lot easier said than done. No, a lot easier done than said, I guess, but it's hard to explain. I'm not good at this, but all right, let's do this. Let's actually take it. Let's get some speed. Clutch in, first gear, clutch still on. I'm gonna give it a little gas and release the clutch slowly. Off the clutch, need second gear. No gas, clutch, pull up to second, gas, unclutch. Smooth transition. Third gear, let off the gas, clutch in. Pop it off, gas, off the clutch. All right, we're gonna make a quick stop here. So we're gonna stop, clutch in, gonna go down to first, all right? Got gas. We need second gear. Clutch in, let off the gas. Either way is fine. Clutch up, gas, off the clutch. to first keep your hand on that clutch there are some inherent dangers while riding a bike one is loose gravel so if your wheels are on gravel you don't want to make too many turns and you do not want to uh, increase or decrease speed at a fast rate okay there's a car behind me so let's go second gear
it's fun it's fun it's awesome so we're gonna be here for a bit oh no they're not gonna turn okay we're gonna go if they were turning we go in the neutral since they're not hand on the clutch and i'm in first gear i'm ready to go hand off behind you if someone is coming up to you okay we just went a neutral sorry if someone's coming flying up behind you you need to know you could get away because again it's not a car you get hit from behind at a minimum you need a new bike but um another thing is a motorcycle has to be respected in the same the same space as a car so from this line to that line this is all your area depending on what situation of driving you're in you're going to want to hug that line you're going to want to be in the middle or you're going to want to be on the right you'll learn that as you go let's get ready clutch in first gear second gear to go right but but I'm not putting that crap on my bike all right neutral hand off the clutch because they're gonna be turning we're gonna be sitting here for a while when you're behind another car at a red light you don't want to be directly behind them you want to be near the left or the right because if someone comes to hit you from behind 
you're better off leaving and letting the car get hit because you don't want to be a pancake first gear down to one. Some bikes like this one have a self-canceling turning signal so when I use it and I complete a turn it shuts itself off. A lot of bikes do not have that obviously especially the older ones. Nothing wrong with that you just got to be cognizant that you're bleaking at somebody for X amount of miles. All right, neighborhood driving. You want to abide by the speed limit and don't do it too loud because someone's going to call the cops. Second gear. And I'm going to stay here. The speed limit's 25, so there's no point in getting into third gear. We're going to make a sharp left here, turning signal, brakes, clutch, turn. On your, you see how much the bike's leading? On your turn, let's go into first again. On your turn, you don't want to alter your speed. If you're turning, you don't want to be pulling the throttle down or braking all of a sudden. You want to maintain that speed. So if you're turning, and you've got the gas going, you want to commit to that and keep the gas going with your turn. So in first, both brakes. They're waiting for something. There you go. All right. Second gear. Now the speed limit. Ah, now the speed limit is 20. So there's no point in getting into third gear. And the bike doesn't mind. The bike could the bike could stay in second gear all day if you are going, you know, what second gear wants to be in, depending on the bike you've got. But now, for those of you who get a carbureted bike, you need to open it up. Meaning you need some speed when you're riding. Not all the time, but your carburetor can get clogged and that's what happened to a couple of my bikes i had a couple honda cb750s that did it uh, my suzuki savage got clogged up um, and it's held to start after it's clogged most of the time you got to replace the carburetor so to keep that from happening um, say you're storing your bike for the winter you don't want to start the bike in your garage or in front of your house well it wouldn't be in front of your you don't want to start the bike and let it run because it'll keep the battery going. You don't want that. Um, it's better off putting it on a trickle charge and, and letting it sit. And making it look pretty throughout the winter, whatever. Um, but you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna open that thing up. If we were doing this video at this speed with a carbureted bike, I'd have to shut the video off and take her on the highway for a little bit to blow it out. But this is fuel injected, so it's just a lot less 
lot less to worry about if you get a fuel injected bike but some of the guys prefer a carb i i don't mind either way i like i like all bikes i'm not prejudiced when it comes to bikes i can promise you all right so we're gonna make another left so should we do a right let's do a right this one so we're gonna maintain speed i'm not touching my clutch but I'm gonna keep my hand where it's at. I don't wanna let go and I don't wanna fucking, I'm sorry. I don't wanna throttle it. Just a second. Both brakes, clutch in, down to first. Now we're gonna be going right. Talk about road hazards, huh? I get asked a lot what my favorite type of driving is, riding is. Um, you get lots of respect on a bike too. Um, I don't really, uh, well I guess I prefer the country. Um, long, long roads where you could just open the throttle and just go. I love that. City driving kind of sucks because there's a lot of stop and go. Um, especially when the sun's beating on you. That's when you get wicked farmer's hands. Um, but also depends on what kind of bike you got. Sometimes, let's get in a second so it's not so loud. Um, Sometimes you have a bike that's very quiet and wow, let's, let's go down to first to check this out. Wow, I hope they're okay. Oh my lord, God bless you. Ooh, dang it. I feel sorry. We gotta stop. little dirt bike that is not legal sir <laughs> for the second bold brake clutch in down to first it's repetitive it's extremely repetitive but it doesn't seem that way when you're riding because it's just something you're doing Hold brake, clutch in, down, down. Okay. Get to rolling. For a second. take this nice and slow you can't you can't chance popping a tire go in the second go in the third the fourth always clutch second gear and you're starting at a red light 
thought she was going to compliment the bike. She's distracted by something else. Anyway, say you're in second gear. We're starting at this light. It is possible. The thing is, you're going to be letting go of the clutch a lot slower because you need to get to the speed that second gear wants to be in, which on this bike is about 20. So I'd be, I'd be riding the, the throttle and still holding the clutch while slowly letting up until I got the 20. Then I can let go of the clutch. But it's just easier and smarter to start at first gear. Let's go back to where we started if the battery will allow it. If you guys learned enough already, well, keep watching the video. I like you guys watching. <laughs> All right. Clutch in, first gear. Both feet up. Second gear, clutch off. Third, clutch off. on the right side of this dude just in case we try to get smacked from behind. About here all right as you guys can tell 
the video died uh, as we were cruising. But uh, we got the gist of everything. You didn't really miss much. I was just showing and explaining why to park certain ways behind uh, other vehicles whilst on the road. But uh, again, that'll come to you. I just wanted you guys to know at least the basics so you could get up and go. Um, I know some of you who are watching this are dying to get up on the road. Um, Safety is number one um, above everything. It, it really is. Um, it sounds cliche to say because it's pretty obvious, but uh, it absolutely is paramount. Um, I would always suggest get some good riding boots. Um, uh, normally wear jeans. I didn't today, but jeans just in case you spill. Uh, I get a nice leather. Um, something to protect your body because uh, if you do end up going down, um, you'll be missing some tattoos at a minimum if you've got tattoos. But uh, you know, it's it's just it's very fun. It's exhilarating. It gets the heart pumping. Um, but it's also, I mean, it can be extremely dangerous, especially when you have, um, you know, a 17-year-old driving and texting on their phone, or, or half the idiots we saw today just sitting on their phone. Um, it takes one wrong split decision by somebody or yourself to really screw your day up, uh, put you in the hospital, or even worse. I don't know how many people I've met that have been through a bike accident or have perished because of a bike accident um, and they're never pretty I mean you never walked away completely unscathed so um, just be careful uh, please please for God's sake be careful um, a lot of people wear riding gloves um, I don't I like to feel my controls a lot better and I've been riding forever that doesn't excuse me I mean I still generally wear uh, proper attire for riding um, sometimes you see people wearing sandals and uh, shorts on a bike you know do you man but it's just idiotic it's really stupid these pipes <laughs> these pipes this cam cover the motor especially are so extremely hot it takes le way less than a second to permanently scar your body um, and if you're riding and you touch one, you might overcorrect and oversteer and fall. So either way, I just want you guys to have fun. I hope this was as informative as can be. Again, I respond to any comments sent my way personally. So uh, even if there's a thousand of you guys that write, uh, I will absolutely respond to all of you uh, personally. Um, I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope it was as informative as can possibly be. Um, and uh, again, stay safe, have fun. Uh, there's nothing like it, as I've said 516 times today. Uh, so really, get on the road, have a blast, um, and check out the rest of my videos. Uh, some of them are pretty cool. Uh, I think so, anyway. Anyhow, get on the road, be safe, get your license. I, I went many years riding a motorcycle with no license. I was never pulled over, never got in trouble, but... I felt a lot better when I got one, okay? So, um, I, I bought many bikes with, with no license, and, you know, it takes one cop uh, or one spill. I mean, you hurt somebody, you hurt yourself, and you are more than liable if you don't have the right uh, documentation. Uh, it's very easy to take the test. Um, if you already ride or rode before, if you get accustomed to it, if you, if you watch this video, and you do everything I said and you have some way to practice there's advanced courses to where it's two days long and you get your license it's, it's nothing at all um, if you have to go through the classes just do it just just get it over with um, it's not worth getting your bike taken or getting somebody hurt and having it come out of your pocket stupid bee um, either way again thank you guys for watching be very safe have an absolute blast Please comment and let me know if this helped whatsoever, if it was informative enough. And again, any questions, I got you, all right? Thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you. Well, you, you'll be seeing me. I don't know if I'll be seeing you, but check out the other videos. All right? Thanks for watching. And as always, love y'all.